Hey guys, Bea here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the latest updates we've done in Themes Generator. We've updated our navigation menus. Just as a reminder, Themes Generator is constantly updating, constantly changing and improving the features. I would subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss any update because we're going to publish them all here. We're going to make tutorials of all of them. And now I'm going to show you how to work with this navigation menu first in Themes Generator and later once we export this theme into WordPress, I'm going to show you how to edit this menu in WordPress Customizer. I'm going to use one of the premium templates called Winter and as you can see I've modified this template a little bit for this tutorial. So we have the Winter logo up here and below this box is where I'm going to place the navigation menu. So I'm going to the blocks and let's search for it. Now you see this is the navigation menu and just drag it. If it's the first time you use it, this assistant will pop up with some instructions. Now what I'm going to do is just going to click on next and just close it. Okay, because I'm going to show you these steps here. So. I've just dragged this block and placed it here. So right now you just don't have to do anything else because the rest of the things uh, will be done in WordPress Customizer. The menu nav bar is now so easy to use and powerful and you've got more styling options. So, so whenever you're done, just click on export to WordPress like I'm doing right now and just let it export. So just as a reminder to install your theme, you must go to appearance, add theme and here you will choose the file, the zip file. Okay. So I've already done that and I'll just need to click on install now. Always remember to activate the theme and once this is done, just click on visit the site. What you will see are instructions to go to customize menus, locations and assign a top menu location. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Click on customize, find menus and here go to view location. So here we're going to select which menu we want. So I'm going to click on menu one and this is the menu. So later we're going to create another menu and then I will show you how to choose which menu you want it to be the top menu. Okay. I'm going to leave this exactly how it is. So I'm just going to click on publish and go back. And I'll go to menu style. So here is where we're going to style our menu. So now you see that this menu has some styles. What it did is it inherited the default theme style. So you have the option to change this and this is where you do it here in WordPress customizer. Um, let's say for example, text color, let's change the text color and let's put it something a bit more purple like these buttons like the logo. Okay. The text background, if you want to choose a background, I'm just going to show you how it will look. Uh, I'm not going to, to place a background because I don't think it will look good, but I'm just, I just selected it. So you guys see that you also have these options. Submenu text color, which is the text color of these submenus here. So, um, if you want it to look good right now, this looks pretty good, but just to show you how it will look with another color. So you see, um, just going to leave it maybe like that. So a new text background, the same. I'll click here. So you see how it added a background and as you see, the, you can also, this bar here is to add opacity. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So you see how this background is, looks a bit different. Just going to bring it up here. But I think I'm going to clear and leave it as it is. Text color hover. So right now, whenever we hover, you get the white text. So I can. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to choose this same color up here. I'm just going to copy this hex code and 
paste it here. So see how is the same color. Also choose a text background hover. Right now there's like this dark blue. So I'm going to just move around a little bit. It's going to look a bit weird. Okay. But just to show you all these different options, I'm just going to clear it and leave it as it were because I think this looks pretty good. Navbar background adds a background to the whole navigation bar. We've added this because it might be useful for some designs, just in case. So this is what you will get, okay? Um, in this design, it won't look that good, so I'm just going to clear it. And now we get the mobile option. So I'm just going to make my browser smaller until I get this menu, okay? So mobile menu background talking about these background right here so right now the default color is the same as this this white um let's change this a little bit so you guys see open again these are the options also I'm just going to clear it and mobile menu icon means this icon over here you can also change the color see right now it's red it's also a blue so same, I'm going to clear it. And the mobile separator, wait first. Mobile separator means these lines that separate each of the pages from the menu. So let's change it to something a bit more drastic so you can see the difference now. It's red. But I guess I'm going to leave this dark, 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 dark blue approximately, which is this one over here. And in mobile, you will inherit the hover options that you've selected before here, as you can see. Exactly the same. The text hover is the same and the background hover too is the same. Okay, so let's go back to desktop. And here we've got some letter spacing. Okay, so I'm just going to add some later letter spacing. Let's add, wait, make this two, three. So you see how the, the, the letters expand. The item side padding, so I'm going to increase it quite a lot so you understand a little bit what it means. Um, let's click on 30, but it means the space that is in between each item, okay? So I've placed right now 30 pixels, so that's the space between each of these elements, okay? Each of these over here and now here you can also add a top margin so let's bring it down a little bit so you see I've added 40 pixels for the top margin so it brings it down um, if you click on zero it means that you're going to bring it up closer to the logo also choose different font sizes uh, right now it's 18 but let's click on 22 huge let's leave it bring it to 16. You can also add a text shadow. So this is the syntax that you need to add these shadows. So this is the hex code, the color that you want. Um, if you need help, you can use just, you know, get a selector here, find the color and just copy it here. Like what I'm going to do right now. And right now you've got 005 pixels. So if you add, you can see there's a slight shadow. Hope you guys can see it. So this is completely optional. If not, just get rid of it and that's it. It's just it's optional, okay? You can choose a font family. Default font is the themes font. You also get all the themes generator fonts and also all Google fonts. So you get to choose them over here. Um, let's change to Montserrat. I love this font. Also the weight, let's leave it in clean. And here you choose if you want to align it right, center or left. Um, just so you can, guys can see how, okay, this is way too little. I'm just going to fix this a little bit so you guys see how you can select 
the alignment. So right now it's on the right. Now if you want it on the left and also center it. I'll leave this center because that's how it looks best. And whenever you're happy with all this, just click on publish and you're done styling your menu. And in case your site has different menus, I'll show you how to choose which menu you want to show up here, which one you want it to be the top menu. So same thing here in menus. Right now we have menu one and menu two. The current top menu is menu one, this one over here, okay? So if you click on view location, here you can select which menu you want it to be the top menu, okay? So right now it's number one, I'll click on number two. It's that easy. So now if you go back, you'll see that the top menu is menu number two. So you can have more menus and they were all display here. So you can create your menus from here or you can do this in appearance menu. So now you have full control over the menus and you've got lots of styling options. We've also added all the themes generator fonts and all the Google fonts. So now it's so much easier to work and style these menus. We're adding more and more features like powerful slideshows and compatibility with WooCommerce to build your online shop. So if I were you, I would subscribe to the channel because we publish all the updates here. We always make a video talking about the new features and showing you how to use them. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified whenever a new video is out. Thank you guys for watching.